Hi folks, John Richardson here. If you want to see what a front cap does, you can go through some of these videos and you'll notice I did one, so I'm not going to elaborate on it. This is a 2017 Model 29L double slide. This really isn't per se a camping trailer. This guy's big enough that this is something you're going to want to take if you're a skier up to bachelor if you wanted to spend a couple days arctic fox means it's a fully enclosed heated underbelly four season coach that's what we got here you're going to have two seven and a half gallon propane tanks you got an electric jack this is the top of the line in the northwood the arctic fox now a couple things i want to show you that they give you We've all known about electric jacks on trailers, but what you don't know is, because you don't think about it at the moment, is you hit one button, both jacks go down at the same time. That's not the case with the Northwood. You have, each has its own independent motor, so in the event you're not sitting in a parking lot and maybe you're in a little bit of uneven ground, you know what happens when both jacks go down at the same time? and one hits, the other one stops, and you gotta put a block under it. That won't happen with the Arctic Fox because each one's independent on all four corners. Of course, you're gonna get a 10 gallon hot water heater. That's gas electric, good recovery rate on it, so your mama don't have to worry about getting a cold shower after you spent 10 minutes in there or vice versa. Aluminum frame, but these are a heavy coach not exceedingly heavy, but they're going to be heavier than the ultra lights. Reason being because of the quality of the construction, your 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floors, your laminate on top of it. They don't use no particle board in here, folks. Zero. This guy is all plywood. So, aluminum frame, plywood for cabinets, plywood for your floors, that type of thing. You have a full awning all the way across. Of course, that's going to be an electric awning. Hit a button, your awning comes out. I'd also like to point out, you see these little holes that line up here? The idea of that is, in the event you put your electric awning out, this is an adjustable pitch. So I can drop one side down in case I'm going to be away from it, in case it rains or something. I don't have to worry about it. A rainfall coming in there and tearing out my awning so I can adjust the pitch on this guy now we're gonna go in I'm gonna show you what the 29L represents this is a front kitchen model so if you are looking for massive counter space this is what you want reason we got so much counter space you've got a full across the top Corian or not Corian but a solid surface countertop with molded in sinks along with molded in solid surface countertops to go along with it. So if you're looking for all the counter space you can possibly have this guy right here if I can get it to work isn't that beautiful you've got a 22 inch oven Cook turkeys and hams in that, three burner stove, knife rack behind the stove. In the event you want to put your butcher knife or something like that, look at this. I can stick my knife in there. Handy. Of course I keep mine in my pocket. Now you'll notice here we've got a microwave. We got cabinets galore here being a front kitchen. Cabinet here cabinet here with a shelf another cabinet across here another door to it here spice rack that type of thing above you know to put wash rags that type of stuff salt pepper spices all of that good stuff and then of course we've got a full length cabinet on the other end of the counter complete with shelves you got drawers here for silverware roller bearing drawer guides they even give you a plastic liner so you can put your silverware in there you'll notice right here we've got a spot for the battery kill switch so you can kill your power either outside or inside 
This I think is a pretty neat little idea. Everybody seems to like that little hidden cabinet. More spices, salt, pepper, chilies, that type of thing. Then we come over here, we've got an extendable table with four chairs in it. And I might point out, these are what we call piano bench chairs. So you've got storage hidden underneath. These are well-constructed furniture. This isn't your typical mass-produced uh, chairs and tables. Plenty of windows. You'll notice on each end of the slide out, we have up and down windows so you can get airflow, slide windows on the side so you get the airflow going. So if it gets hot out and you want some airflow, just open up some windows and get cross ventilation. Fantastic fan here, complete with LED lights throughout the rig. And I'll point out this fabric here is called Ozite. All that does is quiet down your coach. Did I happen to mention? Thickest roof in the industry for a trailer. How thick is it, John? Five and a half inches. Let me show you that. Look at the thickness of the roof. That gives you an R18 in the ceiling. This is where your heat's going to go out if you don't have a thick ceiling. Notice the skylight. Now I'm six foot tall. I'm stretching. Ugh. But I can hit the top of that. So if you're seven and a half foot tall, you might have to worry about it. Other than that, don't worry about it. If it's real, real cold like it is today, I can close that off. Keep the heat in. You've got the uh, Norcold eight cubic foot refrigerator. In many, of my, in many of my videos, I talk about the Norcold with the recessed freezer the adjustable settings so I can have hard ice cream if that's my choice, vegetable crispers, plenty of little drawers to put stuff, eggs, that type of thing, just like you got in your house. So then we'll talk about we've got two recliners in here. So you can sit down on this guy, kick it, enjoy yourself while you're watching TV. Recliners, TV. Now don't look at this price because that's a special price for the show. But I'll tell you what, you come in anytime in the month of January, if by chance this thing doesn't sell, I'll get you the sale price on it. So we got flat screen TV, we got cabinets with shelves. I'd like to point out, everything's got shelves in these cabinets. It costs money to put a shelf in. That's why these guys are a little bit more money, but you know what? You get quality, and you're, you're going to forget the price long after you remember the quality, is what I like to tell people. So another cabinet up above. Huh, another shelf. So now I can stack stuff up there. You've got your stereo here. You have your complete command center right here. Hidden with a door. A dimmer switch here. I can adjust the lighting in here for mood lighting. So this is going to allow me to open and close my awning, put my slide out, out all my gas and electric buttons for, for my hot water heater. So now we're going to go. Oh, I can't forget to tell you, we've got it upside down. But this is your entry doormat. That lets you know you're in the best quality that is being made in a trailer today. Now we're going to go in here. You'll notice we've got a pocket door. I might also point out cup holders here for your favorite beverage. Sitting there, you, you, you don't have to set it on the floor and kick it over on your stain resistant carpet. So pocket door closes this off. This is the bathroom. I don't know of a better bathroom unless you get into a $100,000 fifth wheel. You've got the glassed-in shower, complete with skylight, full surround all the way down to the base of the shower, skylight on top, again, ozide ceiling, medicine cabinet. You want to see what that photographer looks like? 
There he is. See him in that there? So that's for the ladies put their makeup on. Us guys, we don't care what we look like in the morning. Towel rack, light, galvanized sink, beautiful brass, I guess is what you'd call that for the faucet, cabinet underneath. Notice this is still solid surface. That's why I'm telling you it's a little heavier than your average trailer. So then over here, Three nice drawers, all with roller bearing drawer guides on it. Nice big cabinet here, hanging hanging cabinet. Two more drawers right above the throne for extra towels, that type of thing. Toilet paper holders already installed. Huh! Oh God! Another cabinet with one two shelves in it so you can see the benefits of having the shelves and everything plenty of lighting now we come into the bedroom this is the bedroom slide what does that do for you it gives you a walk around queen bed but mainly what it does is it gives you massive wardrobe space if you're of the mind you got to take a lot of stuff because you're going to go through different seasons. It'll carry just about anything you need. Here we go again. Another shelf and a big mirror. So then we look around here. You know how we need, everybody needs a dresser in their bedroom. How about one with six drawers on it? Did I mention full extension drawers? What that means is I don't have to pull it out to here and wonder what's back here. I can pull the thing all the way out. Each one of these, all full extension drawers, a dresser here, dresser top, put a picture of the family that's back home. They're still working. Remember, you just retired, so you want to see your family, but they, they have to work and you don't. More shelves here, stereo spot here, another cabinet here. Now what I'd like to do is take you outside and show you just a couple more things. I don't want to bore you to death. I want you to come in, ask for JR. I'm the young guy here. Been here now 26 years. Plan on being here a few more. So you got to hurry and come. I'm only going to be here for probably another 10, 20 years and then I'm done. So I, I don't know if I mentioned, we've got storage underneath the bed extra chairs underneath the bed should you have company show up and you need some more chairs we got it so now what we're going to do is i'm going to drag the photographer out we're going to look at the outside of it a little bit more in case you don't remember what i ride take a look at the back of the jacket and it ain't no honda your 15 inch wheels they might even be 16s i can't get down there and look I think they are 16s. You've got uh, uh, alloy wheels, eliminates any rust problems, that type of thing. Electrical outlets here. Of course, you got your bedroom door complete with stoppers. I didn't mention it, but the hinges on these are what we call a friction hinge. So you'll notice here on this wall, you don't have any place to lock down your door. You don't need it because the friction will stop the wind from whipping that thing around. Now here, again, two more jacks in the back, each one with its own switch. Goes up and down. Here's your storage, and I'd like to point out how this thing is screwed together. If you can get a picture of that. So you can see the quality of this. I mean, even hiding in the back end of it. This is a magnetic door. Again, one inch thick, slam latch. So you got the storage here. You don't have any storage across the front because you got that big kitchen up there. So notice even got a ladder to climb up. I've got it in the down position when you're traveling. Just close her off, out of sight, out of mind. Take a look at our LED tail lights. These are automotive tail lights. You know how most trailers just got that one plastic lens? This has actually got a backup light in it. Very, very high end. They're proud of it. And the way to remember this, right here. Arctic Fox, aluminum superstructure. 
as well built as I know how to build one. These guys do it. So again, folks, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this. If you got any questions, just call that number down there and ask for JR. I work on commission. I'd really like to meet you and answer any questions you got, or perhaps fix you up, get you into a beautiful trailer that you'll be proud to own for many years to come. Thank you so much for taking the time. Bye-bye.